In this tutorial, we're going to give you some tips on how to quickly become familiar uh, with using the app. So the first thing we'll look at is the menu. By clicking here, we can see a list of items that you'd want to access on a regular basis. So uh, managing your diary, your contacts, your invoices, your expenses, and also getting an overview of how your company is performing. There's also the system settings menu. So by clicking on here, we can see a list of items that you would typically want to access on a less regular basis. So being able to add new users, uh, being able to modify and add new expense types, and also updating your company details and also your company logo and the color of the app and so on. By clicking on the system settings menu icon, this submenu will disappear. The next thing we'll look at is the help that's available from within the app. So if I click on contacts, really important feature is the inbuilt or embedded help. So by clicking on the little question mark at the top of the screen, uh, this will show you a video illustrating how to get the most out of this particular feature. So in this example, we can see how to manage your contacts within Rhino. And if we click on the invoice menu, and we click on the help icon, then we can see um, how to create an invoice in less than 30 seconds. The tutorials are approximately between two and three minutes long, so we've tried to keep them nice and short. If you need uh, additional help, then you can always click up here and click on the help icon. You can have a look at the user guides and this will talk you through each section. Um, or probably an easier way uh, is to click on the get support uh, where we have a whole list of frequently asked questions. So for example, if you wanted to know what's new in different uh, product releases, just type in release and we can see a whole list of releases and by clicking on any one of these we can see a summary and there's also an attachment. By clicking on the attachment we can see a detailed explanation of the content of each release. Equally if we type in a topic like for example uh, estimate, how do I add a new estimate? If I now click on estimate instead of an attachment I've now got uh, a video. So if I click on this here, uh, I can see a video of how to create an estimate in less than 30 seconds. So within the app, you should have all the support that you need uh, to be able to get the most out of using the app. A couple of other useful features, um, by clicking on the Rhino icon at the top of the screen, it'll always take you quickly back to the home screen. This little icon over here, this is this gives you access to your personal settings. Uh, so for example, if you want to increase the size of the text, or if you wanted to change your password and so on, or change your display name, um, then you can do it from this screen. Just click on save, and you can see that the size of the text has been increased. I hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the next one. Whoa, whoa, whoa.